You are the tiny boat. So, uh, Katie Thomas and Lindsay Albers joining us, and you guys are, are wrapping up careers. Well, one of you is, right? And when you think about that, take me through this program, because you guys have kind of done the, the co-op <laughs> hokey pokey, right? You, you were in, then you were out. I mean, what has that process been like in the coaching changes and the moves throughout? Um, well, we haven't really had any coaching changes. We've had like the same coaches and it's been kind of weird because like different girls come in and out, but it's been nice being like alone for the past two years because we won't have new people coming in and out. Like we have a few younger girls, but that's about it. You know, I got that impression from the team in when it first happened from the coaching staff and from the players that as much as it's nice to have numbers and to have more talent on the team, you felt more cohesive as just being Spring Lake Park. Yeah. Okay. Lindsay, how did that kind of bear itself out in your mind as, as a junior this year, knowing that, hey, these are the girls that I'm not just going on the ice with and going to practice with, but they're in the halls with me. This is, this is my team. This is my school. How did that kind of help and, and play itself out throughout the season? I mean, I definitely like being alone rather than being with other teams because yeah. it's the girls that we grew up playing with and we know them and we just have better connections with them and we play better together on the ice easier for us too mm -hmm. with the uh, with the mascots too which we, you guys don't get any weird nicknames from guys well, like us so Spring that's Lake good. Park is already three words Ed Coon Rapids in was quite a mouthful. Yeah, it certainly so was. we're only caring about ourselves pretty much um, but we are going to ask questions of you. Katie uh, take me through your uh, favorite moment maybe from this past season. Um, probably when we beat uh, Osseo Park Center mm -hmm. for the like the second time we played them we went in there and we're, it was their teacher night and then we ended up scoring I think it was four goals in the first period in, on like eight shots mm -hmm. so that was really exciting so you taught them something that night yeah okay <laughs> so the high scoring game even though you're back in the net that's that's the memory for you yeah okay Lindsay you're part of that high scoring attack balanced with scoring and with assist making how do you how does that kind of work itself out for you your ability to both score and finish plays but then also be able to look and set up your teammates a lot of my focus this year was just working on passing more and helping set up my teammates because I can't score all the goals so yeah did you set any goals in your mind as far as if you wanted it to just be even Steven? I think you ended up, you know, right there within a couple assists and goals of what your total was. Did you set that kind of in mind going in, knowing that's what you wanted to work on? Yeah, I talked with my coaches at the beginning of the season, and my goal was to even them out and pass about 50% of the time rather than shooting. It speaks well of your teammates, too, that they, they were able to cash it in for you as well because you can make the pass, mm -hmm. and, and they were doing that. What was, what was the highlight for you when you, when you look back at, at your season? Probably Osseo as well, or TG, our first game when we tied them up with a minute left and then tied them in OT. I like that one. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, spring plans, anything besides hockey, or is it still focusing on getting ready for next season? I got softball. Softball? Mm -hmm. Kitty, you're playing softball too, aren't you? No. No? <laughs> Previous years? Uh, I used to play lacrosse. <laughs> I'm just making things there up, was. apparently. I'm sure we saw her. Maybe there's another Katie Thomas playing softball somewhere. Could be. Uh, for those of you who are playing softball, Lindsay, uh, what's the team look like this season? It's not going to be like last season. I mean, we have definitely had better seasons in the past, but it's still going to be fun, and it's something that's going to keep me in shape and keep me looking forward to hockey. Excellent. The bar's pretty high for Spring Lake Park softball, so that's, that's, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Certainly some good seasons in the past. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you all yep. for, for joining us. We are going to pause for a minute. I'm going to take us right there. So we'll be back, and then we'll interview some more people. It's the season finale.